we're ordering sushi rolls, and there used to be a sushi roll in here that was so good. It was called the Sunset, and it tasted like a sunset. So if you watch my videos on the food trucks and the places to eat, this is uh, the garden on Maine. See it? It's all kinds of food trucks in there. It makes a cool, like, just random food experience. Even a bar in here. So to start this video out, I'm going to have some tacos right here at the uh, food trucks because why not? And then we're going to go eat sushi tonight, so it's going to be a full vlog of tacos and sushi. I think I'm gonna get a Paco's taco. And let's do a Santa Maria. So I just got done with a real estate deal and I figured, hey, why not do a food review? And I hadn't done the food trucks down here because I just haven't made it down here. But I figured why not do sushi and food trucks in one day? Sounds like a good idea for a vlog. So this is my first time trying Cabela's tacos. I think I sell it right. Cabela, Cabela. So this is my first time trying Calvera's tacos. I think I said that right. Look at this. Looks pretty good. Tell you that was a good lunch. You know, Pensacola's really coming up with some of their eateries, like especially downtown. There's a lot of interesting stuff. And I heard they're making another food court, like food truck court, like over on the other side of town, like the Nine Mile Pine Forest area. That'd be kind of cool too. I think in another video I'm gonna do the top food trucks. I think I might. I think I might have done food trucks before, but I want to do like fish like maybe by category because there's some really good guys doing some really good stuff and some really good food trucks little jack's really excited about sushi he's never seen sushi before he was too little to see it before but now he can recognize stuff across the street there's dharma blues and they have sushi two dollars off on yes off sushi rolls. Off sushi rolls on, on Mondays. Mondays. We got little Jack here. He's ready for some sushi. We're gonna check it out and let y'all know what we think. Pretty excited. I love sushi. Come, little Jack. sushi rolls and there used to be a sushi roll in here that was so good it was called the sunset and it tasted like a sunset he does not believe me that you can taste a sunset hang on <laughs> little jack little jack believes me that you can taste the sunset right santa no <laughs> he's like but jesse tastes jesse tastes good Apparently they don't have that one anymore. It was just a specialty because I just tried to order it. So they just informed me they have a summer roll that tastes like summer. What's that taste like? Like a mouthful of summer. It's like a mouthful of navy corn. Hot and humid. Hot and humid. That's right. So we're trying it. We're trying it. I'm not so sure what did you get? 
salad. And I got the rock and roll roll. So it has eel and smoked salmon. Thank you. That was really good. Roll. That's the summer roll. It's supposed to taste like summer. Try it, Samantha. I'm going to try it. See if it tastes like summer. That's a good one. Well, that's the vlog, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my favorite sushi spot. Been through a lot of them recently. A lot of places have opened and closed because of the things that have happened the last year or two. But this is my new favorite one. Sushi's great. It's on point. Good atmosphere. And uh, they got some really interesting rolls that are different than some of the other places in town. And Samantha likes it. My friends like it. It's close to where we live. And uh, there's not a lot of traffic to get there. It's just downtown. And it's a good little scenery. It's a little loud. It's a little loud. But other than that, uh, we enjoyed our time. We enjoyed it. Little Jack enjoyed it too. Check out his YouTube channel. He's having a good time over there. He has one video and 150 subscribers. And he's super pumped about it. For the next toy review, he's pretty excited. Or milk review. Or first time he goes to the beach. I don't know. See you later.